this. Okay. It's gallery. Set. Okay, we're ready. Wonderful. Thank you everybody for being here this morning. I'm Jackie Green from the Chatham County Council on Aging. Um, I'm out of our Pittsburgh Center. Um, we also have one in Siler City, so when we open back up. Um, and just another quick announcement. Um, there is no voting going on currently in our Western Center. However, it will be open on election day for an election day voting, but it's not open for early voting. So in case anybody asks, um, I did want to let you know that. Please make sure that you are, oh, you know what? I'm not sure this is working. Um, let me turn this off, turn this back on again. Bear with me just a second so that I know I've got a good connection. Come on. Um, it doesn't seem to want to let me do this today. Usually it comes on automatically. Huh. Well, hopefully you'll be able to hear me without, um, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, never a dull moment. Let's see if I can get to identify it. Um, microphone on, change. Huh. Usually when I turn on my mic, it comes on automatically. All right, well, I hope you can hear me well enough. We're gonna go with what we got. I apologize ahead of time. Okay. Um, so make sure that you're only doing what you can do. Let's start with just walking in place while I talk for a minute. Um, a couple of things I wanted to mention. So just walk in place, we're gonna warm up as we, as we go ahead. Um, periodically, um, Liz likes me to make sure that I mention this, Liz Lati. Um, in terms of health promotion, disease prevention, um, consumer contributions, um, you're always welcome to make voluntary contributions to the Council on Aging. Um, you have the opportunity to make these for the services that we provide. We use these contributions to expand services so that more people can participate in our programs. The money pays for these services, a combination of the federal, state, county, local funds, plus voluntary contributions from people like our, you, our participants. Um, your contribution is con confidential and the amount you give is your choice. Services will not be reduced or terminated if you choose not to contribute. You are not obligated to make a con contribution. If you'd like to make a contribution, you can place it, you can do it online to our website, or you can mail a check to the center, or you can drop one off. Um, or you can, if you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to Liz Lati, Liz Lati, L A H T I at Chatham C O A dot org. So I've done my public service announcement. So now let's go ahead and let's get started. Only do what you can do. If you feel pain, stop. <laughs> can you hear the music? Can you hear it? If you, if you can hear it, shake your head. Can you hear the music? You can't hear the music. Can you hear it? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Is it loud enough? Yes or no? Oh, good. All right. All right. Let's get started then. So glad everybody is here. Um, let me turn this down just a little bit. All right, let's start with our eight, 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 our eight marches, our eight white, white, narrow, narrows, our eight, eight steps. Here we go, let's start left, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Two, you can have little arm movements if you want, just start little. Three, four, five, six, seven, go into V step, here we go, forward. Forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little knee dips. Make sure you're sitting back. Your knees don't go in front of your foot. Your that one back. Low shoulder roll. Five, six, seven, eight. Left arm back. 
forward. So those little knee dips, you're warming up those knees. Follow the hand with the eyes. Five, six, seven, eight. Both arms back. Thumbs up like you're a hitchhiker. Two. Belly tight. Four. Five. Doesn't it feel good to move? Six. Seven. Eight. We're going to put our hands on our thighs, flat on our knees. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. You're going to roll up the cats. You're going to dip down to the calves. Exhale on the way up. Two. Inhale on the way down. Diagonally up again. One, two, 
It's a great way to get your heart rate up for five, six, seven, eight, okay. Back. 
and cross in front. One, two, three, four. Then we do the same four back. Now we reach up over our hand. We press front over the top. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Let's try the arms at full speed. Now count it down to that. Four, three, two, one. Punch. One, two, three. Other arm. One, two, three. Punch out to the side. One, two, three. Other side. One, two, three. Now we're going to go to pull. Pull, punch. Two, three. Four over again. Pull. Two, three, and four. Back to the arms. Okay, let's do that again one more time. Let's do the arms one more time. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Other arm, one, two, three, four. Out to the side, one, two, three, four. Out the side, one, two, three. Pull back, pull across, two, three, four. Overhead, pull across, two. Three and four. Nice job, Kathy. You're picking it up quickly. Way to go. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's do our legs and then our arms. This is nice and fast. This is part of the reason I wanted to do this this morning is it's going to make it really think. Okay. Here we go. We'll start with the legs and right into the arms. We'll count it down. Four, three, two, one. Heel, toe, heel, toe, three, four, other side. Heel, toe, heel, toe, three. Out to the side. Toe, touch, two, three. Other foot. Toe, two, three, four. Can't get knee, touch, kick. Knee, touch, kick. Knee, touch, kick. Go into the punch of arms. Ready? One, two, three. Four other arm. One, two, three, four up to the side. One, two, three, four up to the side. One, two, three, four. Hold across two, three, four over head. Hold across two, three, and four. Nice job. Now we get to do the head. It's a little easier. Lower to the left. Center, left, center for the three, four, and over right, center four. One, two, three, four. We're going to look down to four. One, look down and center. Three, four, look up and center. Up, center, up, center. Three, four. Now we're going to tilt our head, our chin remains forward. We're going to tilt our head towards the shoulder. Then center. One, center, two, center, three, four. Now we'll tilt left, right. Center, sorry. Two, three, and four. All right, that's the whole thing. Let's go from the top, let's do them all. Ready? I'll count it down again. One, or four, three, two, one. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, three. Four, other side, heel, toe, heel, toe, three. Four, other side, one, two, three. Four, other side, one, two, three. Four, can, can, knee, touch, kick. Knee, touch, kick. Knee, touch, kick. Going into punches with the arms, here we go. One, two, I use both arms. Other side, one, two, three, four, up to the side, one, two, three, four, other side, one, two, three, four, pull and cross, two, three, four, overhead, one, two, three, four, head, left, left, center, left, center, three, Four more strong. Right, center, right, center, three, four, looking down, down, center, down, center, three, four, looking up, up, center, up, center, three, four, head tilt, tilt left, center, left, center, three. Four, other side, right, center, right, center, three, and four. Nice job. You did it. Very good. Let's get a drink and keep the feet moving. Mm -hmm. 
that one? I can't hinge all the way. It, it bothers my back. My body. Well, then, okay, so if it bothers your back, make sure you're tucking your tailbone under. Oh. So make you believe you're a bad dog and really curve that tailbone forward. Okay. That helps protect that lower back. Okay. All yeah. right. And don't go to the point of pain. And right. You just want to go to your feeling of stretch. When I do this, I feel a stretch all the way up from the base of my toes all the way up to the bottom of my tushy. Okay? But don't ever go to the point of pain. If, if you have pain, you're going too far. Right. Let's release and let's go to the other side. Thank you for letting me know you have, you know, that you're feeling that because then I might be able to give you a little bit of a tip to tell you how to right. counteract it. Thank so again, you. we want to start by sitting as tall and as proud as we can. That's just the nuts falling off the trees onto our picnic table. <laughs> Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. We really want to watch our, our form. And go ahead and tighten the belly, pull it in toward the spine, and then again, tuck that tailbone under, okay? Even doing just that, I can feel that stretch up the back of my leg. Me too. Okay? Pull the toe toward the nose. Again, the toe is neutral, meaning your toe is up, straightened down. It's not pointed out, not pointed in. Okay, but you're kind of bringing it back as far as you can towards your nose. Then if you can, with keeping your tailbone tucked, hinge at the hips and bring the chest toward the thigh. Now, the reason I say that is I'm not bending. I'm trying not to bend my back. I'm trying to keep my back as straight as I can. That's why I say bring your chest towards your thighs instead of bring, or bring your yeah, shoulders yeah. towards your thighs, not your head. <laughs> yeah. And we're just going to hold it and just keep breathing, okay? Because we need to hold these in order to get that elongation to happen. And we never bounce. Don't go to the point of pain. You want to go till you feel a stretch and then you hold it there. Yes. And we're just going to daydream for a minute. No, we're going to concentrate on the stretch. <laughs> but we're going to keep hold of it, okay? And let's go ahead and press on the on the left knee as you come on the left thigh as you come back up again. All right, let's take the band off our, our foot if you're using it. I'm gonna put it on the back of my chair. I'm gonna take my legs apart. I'm gonna either put my hands on the inside of my knees or my elbows on the inside of my knees, and I'm gonna press them out to stretch the inner thighs. Okay, so you're trying to feel a stretch on the on the on the inner groin area. And make sure if your head is down that you're breathing really deeply and exhaling completely. Really press those legs so you're continuing to feel the stretch. One more nice breath here. And then go ahead and come on back up. Let's go ahead and stretch our, our hips by bringing our legs together. We're gonna to make sure that our right heel is directly under our right knee. Then we're gonna bring our left leg up if we can on top of our, our right knee. Okay, hand, you got your hand on your shin, your elbows on your thigh, press that knee down a little bit lower if you can, feel that stretch a little bit more, but again, never to the point of pain. And we're just gonna sit and we're gonna hold this a minute. This is one of the important stretches you can do because we end up we end up with very tight hips. So this is one we want to make sure we take and, and we focus on. Now again, make sure your tailbone's tucked under and hinge at the hips and bring your chest towards your thighs. Sorry, I'm looking out there and my husband's walking up to get a new poo bucket and the and the little baby is is walking up behind him like a little puppy dog or baby alpaca. <laughs> And he's just so adorable. He's getting big. He's almost 40 pounds. He started at 17 a month ago. Okay, come on back up. Let's switch legs. Unfold slowly. Now, left heel under the left knee. That's protecting your knee. You're making sure that the heel is under the knee so that it's not, it's not forward or back. It's not left or right. Bring that right leg up. Rest it on that knee. Sorry, spam call, I don't wanna hear it in my ear. I have a hearing aid in, so it would keep ringing in my ear and disrupting me. Again, hand on your thigh, your shin, elbow on your thigh, press that knee down, get a little bit more openness in your hip, breathe. 
you'll be happy to know that the the chicken podiatry surgery that I did appears to be successful. It looks like the bumble foot is gone. It's taken us six weeks, but we've gotten the, we were able to get the bandage completely off our chicken's foot. You'll be happy to know that. <laughs> <laughs> never thought I would be doing chicken foot surgery, but I think you never know what you're going to be called to do. Oh, Into the hips, bring the chest toward the thigh. But they said that what I read said that if you if you let it's actually it's an infection in their foot and if you let it go it turns systemic and it would kill them. So I figured he was going to die one way or the other. So I might as well try to save him. <laughs> I only passed almost almost passed out twice doing it. <laughs> All of a sudden I got very warm, very dizzy. <laughs> Come on back up. You just never know what you're going to be called to do. All right. <laughs> Let's take that. Let's take our bands. Let's cross them across the top of our, our thighs. Okay, we're gonna crisscross them behind our thighs. Okay, just bring the bring the ends of the band up. And we're gonna strengthen the hips a little bit more by taking the left leg and bringing it out as far as you can to the to the left, and then bring it back in. Make sure you're sitting tall and proud, belly tight, tailbone's tucked. I always like to make sure the tailbone's tucked after living with. With back pain, lower back pain for years, that was debilitating. I make sure I protect my lower back. Six and in, seven and in, eight and in. Let's switch to the other leg. Bring the right leg out and in. Two, three. Kathy, if you don't have a band, you're welcome to stop by at the center. Just let me know if you want to get one. If you don't have one, we have been lending them out to people that are doing exercise classes with me. Five, I think. Okay, thank you. Six. <laughs> seven. I made up a number in case you didn't notice. Eight. <laughs> Unwind the bands. Let's take the bands. We're going to wrap them around the front of our ankles. So bring them across the front of the ankles, crisscross behind your legs. Bring each end out to the side. I like to then wrap them up around the front of my shins, between my knees, and hold them so I can sit up nice and tall, okay? Now we're gonna work our knees. This is for you, Rick, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our knees together and we're gonna kick out our left foot, then we're gonna tuck it underneath our chair. So we're, as you do it, think about your quadricep. And then as you pull back, think about your hamstring. And let's count. This is two and pull. Think quadricep, hamstring. That's three, four, kick, five. Again, you're trying to keep your knees to, next to each other. Six. Seven, last one, and eight. Let's switch feet, kick, and pull, kick, and pull. Again, it's quadricep, hamstring, quadricep, hamstring, five, and pull, six, and pull, seven, and pull, eight, and pull. All right, unwind your band. Go ahead and get a drink. Grab your weights. <clears throat> Trying to watch time. I don't have a big clock. I gotta figure out how to get a big clock on my screen. Trying to look at this little tiny number that's wee little bitty. And yes, we, we live about an hour from, um, Work brag, but they are in an active training session, so we hear explosions all the time. All right, you can do this next part standing or sitting. That's your choice. Okay, we're gonna work. We're gonna work on arm strength. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna be continuing to march in place. So I keep my heart rate up. I'm gonna have my arms to my side, my palms facing forward. Okay, and we're gonna start with with bicep curls. Okay, you can do this seated. Seated, it's fine. Okay, if you're a fall risk, please remain seated. Okay, we're gonna curl up and down. This time your wrists are just straight. Two, three. So keep your wrists straight. Four, five. And yes, when the bombs go off, the dog barks. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Okay, rest the arms on your waist, roll your shoulders, relax it. Now, as you try to do these, try to make sure that everything you're doing, you're keeping your neck relaxed. You keep your belly tight, your tailbone tucked, but you wanna keep your neck relaxed, okay? So now let's do the same thing, but this time we're gonna, we're gonna make a J with our, with our wrist. So you're gonna, you're gonna curl the wrist up, okay? You're gonna keep that tuck the whole time. Keep your belly tight, tailbone tuck too. And now do the bicep curls again. You're gonna feel this a little differently. Two, Make sure you're counting. Three, we count on the exertion. Four, five, six. I think they were bombing all night. The dog was barking all night long. Eight, nine, last one, 10. Okay, relax the arms on the hips again. Roll the shoulders, okay. Now we're gonna to go to work in the shoulders. We're gonna take the weights up to our shoulders. This is, I do plant my feet. I plant my feet shoulder width apart, okay? One arm at a time is gonna go from here, I'll turn to the side so you can see. It's gonna go directly overhead and back down. Now I'm not bringing it out this way, okay? I'm bringing it directly overhead, okay? Four, belly's tight, tailbone tucked again, wanted to protect that lower back. Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do another set of 10 so we get 10 each arm. Here we go, count with me. One, two, if, something, if you had enough, so you can stop and wait. Three, four, just don't overdo it, Kathy, especially since you're just starting. Six, or plus anyway, seven, eight, nine last one and ten bring the weights down rest them on your hips roll the shoulders let's shrug the shoulders up and exhale and let them down <sighs> inhale up exhale down one two more times inhale up exhale down one more time inhale up and exhale down okay so now let's take one of the weights. I'm gonna put one of the weights down, okay? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna hold the bottom bell. I'm gonna put the other hand over the top of the other hand. Other hand. So I have, I have bell, hand, hand over hand, okay? I'm gonna start with the weight out here, then I'm gonna bring it up overhead, bring my elbows up to my ears, okay? I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me. Again, belly tight, tailbone tucked, always protect that back. And bend the arms, let the weight come down behind your head. Elbows are still in, okay? Then you raise the weight up and bring it down. Concentrate on those triceps, which are these muscles right here. Three, count with me. Four, five, six. We're trying to stop the wave that keeps waving after we stop waving. Seven. <laughs> Eight, nine, 10, let's do 12 just for good measure. 11, last one, 12. Bring the weight down straight in front of your face. Rest it again, roll the shoulders. Okay, we're gonna grab the other weight again. Actually, let's do this one. Let's see if we can do this one with just one arm. Now this time we're gonna take and we're gonna put the weight in our one arm, okay? If when you start to do this, it's too much, just put the weight down and just do it without a weight in your hand. Okay, we're gonna bring that weight up, right up next to your, so your elbows next to your head again. Take the other arm and hold that arm against your ear, okay? And I have it low enough so that I can still breathe and that kind of stuff, okay? Now, again, you're gonna bend the arm, bring the weight down behind your head and straighten the arm up. Again, you're concentrating on that tricep, down, Two, down, three, count with me, four, five, you can feel that muscle working, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 
10. Yes. Bring that weight straight down. Okay. Shake out that arm. Put the weight in the other arm. Bring that arm straight up overhead. Elbow to the ear. Hold that arm in using that other arm. Okay. Bend that elbow. Bring the weight behind your head. Again, I'm keeping this elbow in close to my ear. If, I, if you can't keep the elbow in close and lift the weight, it means you're using too much weight. So Bonnie, you may be using too much weight. You may need to do it without a weight in your hand. Three, you're better off doing it without a weight than hurting yourself. Four, belly tight, tailbone tucked. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Bring that weight straight down. Okay, let's put the weights down a minute. And straight out those shoulders. Woo! Get loose. Go the other way. <laughs> you didn't know you could move so much, did you? <laughs> All right, let's grab the weights again. We're gonna anchor our elbows into our sides. Okay. Just let, rest the weights on the palms of your hands. Now you're gonna bring the weights out to the side, keep the elbows in. We're gonna work on shoulder rotators, making those stronger. Again, if you can't do this with the weights because it hurts, do it without weights. Two, ever go to the point of pain. Three, and in, four, and in, five, six, seven, eight, Oh, I'm missing Patty today. Nine, I wonder where Patty is. 10. I was thinking of Patty, you know why? We're gonna do picture pours. Yeah. <laughs> you, right? <laughs> okay, so when we do picture, see, as you can tell, Kathy, we like to have fun. So, <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold in your belly and tuck your elbow on and make sure you have a pack, okay? We're gonna raise the weights out to the side then we're gonna pretend we're pouring a picture, picture, turn it back upright and bring it down, okay? If you have to do this without weights, that's fine as well, okay? Lift, tip, lift, and down. Three, pour, four, five, six, Seven, eight, if we can do 10, nine, if you gotta stop, stop. There's no, no shame in here. We just want everybody to do what you can, not what everybody else can do. That's it. Okay. Rest the arms, roll the shoulders. Woo, can you feel that everybody? Yes. Okay. All right, last arm exercise we're gonna do is let's bring the weight, we're gonna start with our palms facing backwards, our arms by our side, okay? One weight at a time directly in front of your nose. Arm is straight when you're bringing it out. Two, but again, you're bringing it up straight in front of your nose. Three, four, five, six, six, seven. We wanna have strong muscles to support those shoulder joints because our shoulder joints get Worn out just like everything else does. 10, let's go again. One, two, and the stronger we can make those muscles around the joint, the less wear and tear on the joint. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Rest the arms, roll the shoulders. Let's sit down, see what we're doing, how we're doing time-wise. Oh, we didn't get to do legs today, but we did a lot of legs the other way. So let's go ahead, put the weights down, let's get a drink. We'll do a couple of leg exercises, then we're gonna. And sit down on the edge of your chair. We're gonna go right from leg strengthening to stretching. So start at the edge of your chair, left leg out straight in front of you. Belly tight, tailbone tucked, okay. And we're gonna do straight leg raises, toe is neutral, okay. No momentum, it's just a strict lifting. So you're gonna lift, 
and lower. Keep the upper bodies completely still. Two, three, four, five, six. Really tighten that quadricep. Seven, make that work. Eight, nine, last one. Ten, switch to the other leg. Shake that out a second, switch to the other leg. Okay, ball and proud, belly tight, tailbone tucked. Ready? Lift and lower. Two, when you're lifting, your upper body doesn't move, so you don't want to be leaning forward to lift that leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're gonna rest our legs, shake them out a little bit. Now we're gonna tighten our tushy. We're gonna just squeeze our tushy together. And we're gonna hold it for a count of five. Count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. So you're just squeezing those cheeks of your butt as hard as you can. Tighten. Two, 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 two three, three, four, five. Relax. This time, not just the cheeks of your butt, but also your kegels, what you use to stop peeing. Ready? Tighten. Three, two, three, four, five. Relax. Tighten. Four, two, two, three, four, four, five. Relax. Tighten. Five, two, two, three, four, five. Relax. Tighten, six, six two, two, three, four, five, relax. Tighten, let's count to seven. Seven, two, two three, three, four, five, six, six seven. seven, relax. Make sure you're counting out loud so you're not raising your blood pressure. Go to eight, tighten, eight, eight two, two, three, 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 four, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight. relax. Going to nine, ready? Tighten. Nine, two, three, three four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Relax, we only got one left. Take a nice, take a breather a second. Here we go, we're going to 10, ready? Tighten. 10, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Put the legs out, shake them out. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's start by stretching the legs. Left leg out straight in front of you. Pull that toe back. That was my weight falling off the chair. No one got hurt in this exercise. <laughs> All right, don't try this at home. <laughs> Tighten your belly, tuck your tailbone. And we're going to hinge at the hips, bring your chest towards the thighs. Again, make sure that tailbone's tucked, Wanda. I lived for so long with lower back pain, I couldn't even roll over in bed. My back hurt so bad. I had absolutely no abdominal muscles. So wow. that's why I'm very, very protective of people when they're, when they're doing things to make sure you don't hurt your lower back. Right, thank you. Reach with that left arm down. See how close you're getting. Always try to keep that tailbone tucked. If you can't tuck it far enough that you're feeling pain, you don't go any farther. And okay. you just wait until your body is strong enough to go farther. Okay, come on back up. Switch to the other leg. Again, start with just belly tight, tailbone tucked, toe toward the nose, feel the stretch in the calf. Okay, just feel that stretch, let it stretch. Breathe. Relax the shoulders. Okay, now let's go ahead and hinge at the hips and bring the chest toward the thigh and feel that stretch. See, I can feel that all the way up the bottom of my foot, all the way up to the end of my toe. Okay. Reach down with that right arm if you want. See how far you're getting. It's not a competition except with yourself just trying to go a little bit farther and a little bit farther each day, but know that you may have a day that you can't go as far as you did the day before, and that's okay. You have to listen to your body. And that last exercise that we did, which was tightening our tushy and tightening our kegels, they are responsible for me not having incontinence issues anymore. So okay. they really do work, at least for some, okay. some causes. Okay, come on back up. Let's take the legs apart again. 
elbows or hands inside the knees, stretch out that inner thigh. Breathe deeply. Let's work on a couple of nice big deep breaths here. Try to breathe all the way into your abdomen, expand out those lungs, expand out those ribs, and exhale completely by tightening the abdomen and forcing all that air out. And come on back up. Really think about your breathing. Let's go ahead and make sure our right heel is under our right knee. Let's bring our left leg up. One of the things I concentrate on when I'm breathing is really trying to feel like my ribs expanding, like the space between my ribs getting bigger because it's meant to do that as you breathe. Okay. Press down on your between your shin and your your thigh. Stretch out that leg. And again, breathe in nice and deep. Try to bring the oxygen in all the way to your belly and exhale out completely. And with deep breathing, <clears throat> you want to try to exhale longer than you inhale. Hinge at the hips, bring your chest towards your thigh and keep breathing. You should feel that stretch a little bit deeper. Yes, that's Levi barking. We have a virtual trip to my farm on Thursday here where you get to see the baby alpaca. I don't know whether we'll have another one or two by then. I think they've decided not to have any to this fall <laughs> anymore. Come on back up and switch to the other leg. Heel under thigh or heel under knee. Bring the other leg up. Press between your shin and your, your elbows on your thigh, lowering that knee. Again, nice big deep breaths. Relax those shoulders. Think about having a giraffe tight neck. It's long and proud. Hinge at the hips, bring the chest toward the thigh. Keep breathing. One more breath in this position. And come on up. Let's bring your left arm out, bring it across, bring your right arm up and over and pull that arm in. Again, breathe deeply here. This time of kind of imagine bringing the breath to your shoulders. bombs vibrating my feet. Arm down, bring that arm up and over to the middle of your back, bring the right arm up underneath, try to meet in the middle. And hold. Again, try to keep your head so you're looking, you're looking straight ahead. Unwind, bring your right arm out, bring it straight across your chest, left arm up and over, pull that arm in. You're trying to feel that stretch all the way to the middle of your back. So you feel a stretch all the way through this arm to the middle of your spine. Breathe. One of the things I try to imagine is trying to breathe the, uh, the air into the muscle that I'm actually stretching. Relax that arm down, bring the arm up and over, the hand to the middle of the back, the other hand to the top. Oh, we're gonna bring this one up this way this time, sorry. Try to meet in the middle. This is good for stretching out the shoulder rotators as well. Breathe. Unwind, let's take both hands to the back of the chair and lean forward. Let the chest drop, feel the stretch in your back and through your front of your shoulders. 
All right, come on up, sit central. Sit back and relax. Nice, big, deep breath in, arms up. Exhale down. Let's bring the arms up again, inhale up. Bring fingertips to fingertips, palm to palm. Exhale down, bring your hands down into prayer position. Stretch out those wrists. Inhale, raise a thought or a prayer as you raise your hands up. Thought or a prayer, exhale down. Bring your arms up and around as you inhale again. Give yourselves a hug. Remind yourself that you're safe and you're healthy. Squeeze, unwind. Another nice big deep breath. Bring your arms around the other arm on top if you can. Squeeze, remind yourself that you're loved and you're valued and you're full of purpose and relax. Thank you for being here, everybody. I hope you had a, a nice class. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And I hope to see you again on Friday.